Hey everybody, this is Eric Brady. Um, got a good one for you tonight. Uh, I was here in my rental uh, area and got a text from a tenant saying some of the outlets are out and, and a couple lights. And could I come please take a look? And I immediately started thinking, well, bet you they're using space heaters. Uh, tenants love to believe that space heaters are more efficient than their central heating system. Uh, maybe some delivery efficiencies, but usually uh, efficiency is about the same. Um, example here, I have a cadet wall heater. This is essentially an overgrown hair dryer. Uh, the element gets warm, quite hot actually, and the fan blows air over it and it exhausts heat out into the house. Efficiency wise, it's virtually the same as a baseboard heater. Baseboard heater may have some inefficiency if it doesn't have airflow, natural convection airflow going through it. Uh, this may be a little bit more inefficient because the fan uh, motor here consumes a little bit of electricity, but it's really, really negligible to the point where because of the distribution and the way this works, this may actually be more efficient. You're probably, it's irrelevant. They're so close that it just doesn't matter. Your primary consumption is just heating the element and then, um, you know, however that's delivered into the room is is beside the point. Anyway, um, so this this rental house has a uh, electric forced air furnace, and it's a retrofit. The house originally had baseboard heat, and it was retrofitted into a propane furnace. Uh, and with the cost of fuel, the last two times fuel has spiked. That's prohibitively expensive, and it's in an area where they have an electric co-op. And they have access to Vonneville power uh, electricity at very cheap rates, some of the cheapest in the country. And so it just made sense to have an electric forced air furnace. 1995, 96 home and really um, efficient to the point where it just doesn't need air conditioning. Not really. You could get away with a small window air conditioner or something like that. Anyway, so they had a uh, oil-filled uh, electric Kind of looks like a radiator a space heater again delivery method does not matter they consume they all are usually rated to consume 1500 watts so if you take 1500 and divide it by 120 you get like 13 and a half amps so this thing's pulling 13 and a half amps these outlets are rated for 15 amps and so and you're just sitting there consuming that power all the time and you might have a tv on and a light on on that circuit and so you're really you're pushing right up to 15 amps um, electric code, uh, NEC says you should not be consuming more than 80% of your breaker. So this is already, if you do the math, you're actually consuming 83% when you got your space heater on high. You better not have anything else on on that circuit. Um, this outlet is an inexpensive outlet. Um, unfortunately, I, because of where I picked it up at Ace, um, I ended up replacing it with virtually the same outlet. Um, these are press fittings where the electrician or whoever's wiring the home uh, essentially strips the wire and then stabs the wire into this hole and a clamp comes out and engages with it and um, you can release them by putting something really, really thin in here and then it will release the tension on the spring and you can pull that out. Obviously, I wasn't pulling this one out, so these got there was lots of wire in the box, so I was able to just cut these off. You have your line, electricity coming in, and your load going out. I may have that reversed, doesn't matter. And your ground wire here. So in this case, um, you can just see the heat on this one connection here in particular. And the other ones are looking a little melty as well. But really, this one connection here um, just got really hot and started to melt this, this outlet. Now, because I replaced it the same kind, what I did was I stripped back the wire beyond where the copper was discolored and then wrapped a good loop of copper around this post and tightened that down by hand. And there's a lot more contact that happens on these screw connections than uh, in these um, press fittings is what people call them in the industry. I think there's a trade name for it. That may or may not be a, doesn't matter. It's just a stab fitting where you stab the wire in there. Um, my favorite is actually um, not this brand. It's uh, Leviathan's um, clamps. I think it's Leviathan. Anyways, there's like a, a brass plate on this screw, and you, there's a room to put two two wires in there. 
and you can just clamp, you just screw that down and get a good clamping force on there. You've got lots of contact wire sticks all the way along this plate here, and you've got it sandwiched and clamped from both sides. Never had one of those back out or get loose on me. These stab fittings, because of where I own my rentals, this is a cheaper area, these are everywhere. And these are the bane of my existence. I would say half of my service calls to my rentals are for these outlets. A wire becoming loose, uh, in this case overheating and having an electrical issue. It, these are just a disaster. Um, I am not a fan of the stab fittings. Now, are they defective? No. Was this being used properly? No. I have it in my lease that they are not to use space heaters. But you can lead a horse to water. And people are going to do it anyways. And so what I did was sat with the tenant and I said, okay, this is how much current you're drawing through this all the time. And the outlet they had it plugged in was the next one upstream of this that still had power. This one didn't have power. No, this one did have power, but everything down from this one didn't have power. They had a piece of furniture blocking this one. The next one upstream did have power. They had that space heater plugged into that outlet. And when I unplugged it and I put my hand against that outlet, it was hot. The face of the outlet was absolutely hot. They were going to melt that one too. Theoretically, the breaker should trip before this happens. But it wasn't hot enough to melt the wire. Really, the breaker there, the circuit interrupter, the breaker, is there to protect the wire. It's not there to protect your cheap stab connection. This is in a box, probably not a huge risk of fire. I wouldn't want my family in the house where this is going on. I don't want my tenant's family in the house where this is going on. So a little bit of education, 13 and a half amps pulling through a 15 amp circuit. All of it right here on this connection melted. I just handed it to the tenant. I said, there you go. It's your space heater. And he kind of got a, whoa, look on his face. And I said, yep. So I ran him through the math. I said, hey, look, if you're running on high, it's 1,500 watts. If you're running on medium, it's like 1,100. So you're only pulling 55% of the circuit. If you're running on low, it's what, like maybe 700 watts, something like that. You're pulling 30% on the circuit or whatever. I'm sure you can correct my math. But the, the point is the outlet is probably, even with these connections, is not going to overheat. Do not run your space heaters on high continuously. You will melt things. You have the risk of fire. You're going to cause expense and difficulty and heartache at the very least for yourself. That makes sense? You know, that's just my opinion and experience. The other thing that I see with these stab fittings, this very unit actually I'm in right now. Um, I had lost half of the outlets in this room. Sorry, there's no light in here. It's 70s construction. Uh, it was this outlet right here. Why? That's where they plug their vacuum in and out. And just all those repetitions over the last 40 years, in and out and in and out and in and out, and eventually they had a loose wire. The little clamp here just couldn't hold on anymore. I do not like these. Why do they install them? Well, it's code. Well, the manufacturers have a huge influence over what's code. And I'm not saying they're being malicious. They're trying to provide a product that people want. In this case, the contractor wants to not spend an arm and a leg on labor. And the laborers don't want to curl every one of these around here. That's fine. But to me, buy the more expensive outlets, the safer option. Use the clamp style where you just strip them and stab them along the side and sandwich them down. The only labor that you have to expend there to have a better product is turning that screw. That's it. And it just makes a lot more sense. And, you know, instead of spending, I think I was at Ace and this one, this one was like 330. And I think at Home Depot, it'd be like 350 or Lowe's. It'd be like 350 for the Leviathan with the, with the plate. There's other brands, they, not just, you know, particular Leviathan, but, um, anyway, um, or Le'Veon, whatever. I'm sure you can correct my brand name here. I have it here somewhere. Leviton. <laughs> That's the one here. So this is a GFCI outlet. So, but it does. You know, these are more expensive. These run more like, you know, ten bucks or something. But here's 
here's that plate. See, it's going to fall down when I turn it. See that? A little brass plate underneath the screw. And so the wire gets stabbed all the way down. There's two, there's two spots here. It gets stabbed all the way down to here. It even has like a, how long should, how long should you strip your wire gauge so that they can check it there. Stab it in there and turn it down. This is safer. It's better. We should be doing this. It allows the wire to cool on the side. It's not, it's not insulating that end of the wire with plastic so that it can melt. I just, I don't understand what, there is a limit to cheaper and faster is better. This is not better. This is not safe. I, I'm not saying go out and change all your outlets. I didn't change all the outlets in this rental. I have it in my lease that people aren't supposed to use space heaters. They do it anyway. I'm not saying go in and replace everything. I would love to do that. I would love to have the time and energy and budget to do that i'd have to charge more in rent i'd have to have fewer rentals i'd have to you know hire somebody to come in and do it is it that big of a risk no i don't think it's that big a risk this was some operator error but this is the weakest point in the link and i'm just not a fan and that's just the way it is so anyways rant over uh hope you guys are having a good one happy new year i do have a bunch of videos um I, I don't edit my videos. I just throw them up on YouTube and hope somebody benefits from them. Um, so <laughs> what I learned was I actually have been, I've been really busy. So I've been like hitting the upload button on my phone and then I've been like scrolling somewhere else or turning my screen off and walking around. I've been counting my steps and stuff. Uh, apparently when I turn my screen off, it stops uploading. So <laughs> I've been uploading videos for probably six months and I haven't, nothing's up there. So anyways, I'll, I'll go back and I'll get whatever useful ones I can up there before I clear my phone's memory. But anyways, hope you guys are having a good one. Happy 2023 to all y'all. Um, yeah, Eric Brady out.